Allah. Some of the biggest misconceptions that many non-Muslims have about Islam have to do with the word Allah. For various reasons, many people have come to believe that Muslims worship a different God than Christians and Jews. This is totally false, since Allah is simply the Arabic word for God, and there is only one God, let there be no doubt. Muslims worship the God of Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, and Jesus. Peace be upon them all. However, it is certainly true that Jews, Christians, and Muslims have different concepts of Almighty God. For example, Muslims, like Jews, reject the Christian beliefs of the Trinity and the Divine Incarnation. This, however, doesn't mean that each of these three religions worship a different God, because, as we have already said, there is only one true God. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam all claim to be Abrahamic faiths, and all of them are also classified as monotheistic. However, Islam teaches that other religions have, in one way or another, distorted and nullified a pure and proper belief in Almighty God by neglecting His true teachings and mixing them with man-made ideas. It is important to note that Allah is the same word that Arab-speaking Christians and Jews use for God. In the Arabic Bible, the word Allah is being used where God is used in English. This is because Allah is the only word in the Arabic language equivalent to the English word God with a capital G. Additionally, the word Allah cannot be made plural or given gender. For example, masculine or feminine, which goes hand in hand with the Islamic concept of God. Because of this, and also because the Quran, which is the holy scripture of Muslims, was revealed in the Arabic language, some Muslims use the word Allah for God, even when they are speaking other languages. This is not unique to the word Allah, since many Muslims tend to use Arabic words when discussing Islamic issues regardless of the language which they speak. This is because the universal teachings of Islam, even though they have been translated in every major language, have been preserved in the Arabic language. Muslims worship one God who has no partner and who has the most beautiful names and the highest attributes. Thus, the Muslim's focus and aim is concentrated, focused on his Lord and Creator. He puts his trust in Him and asks Him for help, patience, and support. He believes that Allah is able to do all things and has no need of a wife or son. Allah created the heavens and earth. He is the one who gives life and death. He is the creator and sustainer from whom the slave seeks provision. He is the all-hearing who responds to the supplication of his slave and from whom the slave hopes for a response. He is the all-merciful and all-forgiving, to whom the slave turns in repentance when he has committed a sin or fallen short in his worship of Allah. He is the omniscient and all-seeing, who knows all intentions and what is hidden in people's hearts. The slave feels ashamed to commit a sin by doing wrong to himself or to others, because his Lord is watching over him and sees all that he does. He knows that Allah is all-wise, the seer of the unseen, so he trusts what Allah decrees for him is good. He knows that Allah will never be unjust to him, and that everything that Allah decrees for him is good, even if he does not understand the wisdom behind it. He is the Lord, the Creator, the Inventor of all things, the Bestower of forms. To Him belong the best names. All that are in the heavens and the earth glorify Him, and He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. Quran 59.24 The Quran describes God's attributes and confirms His names and His qualities. 1. God is one and only, eternal and absolute. 
say, He is God, the one and only, God, the eternal absolute. Quran 112, 1 through 2. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد 2. Nothing is like him. He is the creator, not created, nor a part of his creation. There is nothing like him, and he is the all-hearer, the all-seer. Quran 42.11 3. God has no limits of ability. Originator of the heavens and the earth, when he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Quran 2.117 And of his signs is that you see the earth stilled, but when we sent down upon it rain, it quivers and grows. Indeed, he who has given it life is the giver of life to the dead. Indeed, he is over all things competent. Quran 41.39 4. He is all-powerful, absolutely just. He was when nothing was, and will be when nothing else remains. He is all-merciful, the supreme, the sovereign. Allah there is no deity except Him, the ever-living, the sustainer of all existence. Neither drowsiness overtakes Him nor sleep. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. Who is it that can intercede with Him except by His permission? He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them, and they encompass not a thing of His knowledge except for what He wills. His chair extends over the heavens and the earth, and their preservation tires him not. And he is the Most High, the Most Great. Quran 2.255 5. It is only he who is capable of granting life to anything. There is no deity except him. He gives life and causes death. He is your Lord and the Lord of your first forefathers. Quran 44, 8.